Hello and welcome to News Across Nigeria. I'm Olumide Macaulay. On today's program, the Independent National Electoral Commission puts finishing touches to preparations for Wednesday's governorship election in Edo State begins distribution of material. Former Chairman House Committee on Appropriation sticks to his gun, refuses to appear before House Ethics Committee. And 100 dependents of air personnel receive training in agriculture to make them less dependent on airmen in the front line. Thank you so much for joining us. We begin in Edo State where rainfall in the early hours of today disrupted the Independent National Electoral Commission's distribution of sensitive material for the governorship election scheduled for Wednesday, September the 28th. The material which had been in the custody of the Central Bank in Benin City are being retrieved for onward movement to all the local government areas in readiness for Wednesday's poll. Meanwhile, the Edo State Government has exempted banks and corporate organizations from the public holiday declared for Tuesday, September the 27th. The State Government had declared a public holiday for Tuesday and Wednesday, September the 28th, to enable voters travel to their various locations and exercise their voting rights. For the latest in the exercise, let's now join our political correspondent, Shewo Kimbaloye, who is standing by in Benin City. Hello, Sheung. Hello, Sheung. We understand the rain hindered movement of the, uh, of the material uh, in the, today. How is that? Uh Sheung, if you can hear me. Okay, we do apologize. Our correspondent, Sheung Akimbaloye. Uh, standing by in Benin City to give us a heads up on the preparations for the 28th of September governorship polls. We did report earlier that the rainfall had dis hindered the distribution of uh, the sensitive materials uh, for the election. If we can get him back, uh, we will do that and have him give us uh, the latest uh, concerning the preparations. But in the meantime, away from the Edo poll, okay, we do understand that we do have him now back uh, we can speak with him so hi if you can hear me how are the preparations going now Thank you, Oluminde. We are at the uh, INEC headquarters uh, in Benin City. This place is uh, called Adua, our area, where almost every activity that you can think of in terms of the preparation is happening right here. Because a few hours ago, we saw uh, some of the materials, the, sensitive, the non sensitive material being transported from the Central Bank of Nigeria up to this point and just uh, above my shoulder you can see trucks uh, belonging to INEC some of these trucks the white ones are the ones who uh, brought the materials we saw earlier vans and uh, trucks coming from the central bank of nigeria where some of these materials came with security agencies in all the ramifications you also can find here in in this in, the, in the simple sense just to put it simply is the fact that every preparation that you can think of is right here security INEC uh, preparations, everything is right here because uh, any moment from now, we we'll see politicians, we we'll see uh, observers, all of them will come here to monitor and see the deployment of uh, the materials away from here because it's from here that you will find these materials leave here to the uh, what they call the racks. The racks are the point where the materials will stay over in the eve of the election over the night to the election day itself so 
uh, so far, some of the information that we can get is the fact that the deployment of security agencies will effectively happen uh, between now and tomorrow. We understand that thousands, about over 20,000 uh, policemen are going to be on the ground for this election. We understand that there will be area patrol, there will be uh, gunboats uh, to monitor the River Rhine areas. There will also be uh, men of the mobile police force, men of the anti-bomb squad. All of them are going to be around for this election. Also, don't forget that the military are also going to be on the ground for this election. And those are the basic uh, preparations that we understand INEC and security agencies are, are having right now. There will be public holiday, of course, uh, from Tuesday up on the election day, which is Wednesday 28th. So what is happening generally is that there is a trick in uh, the arrangement of the public holiday because the government has said the public holiday will not, uh, banks can work and some other agencies of government also can work. But on the day of election, uh, it's going to be a, a full public holiday where everybody will be, uh, eyes will be at the polling units, at the polling centers for the election. Olumide. Thank you, Shewon. Our correspondent, Shewon Akimbalo, is speaking from Benin City on the Edo State Governorship elections. We hope everything uh, comes uh, together nicely. He was saying, amongst other things, uh, speaking from a central location where the logistics, logistics, the security and distribution of materials were being harnessed. Now, away from the Edo poll, the former chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Appropriation, Honorable Abdul Mumin Jabrin, has failed to appear before the House Ethics and Privileges Committee, which is investigating the allegations of budget padding. In an interview with Channels Television, Representative Jabrin had vowed not to honor the committee's invitation if the House Speaker Yakubu Dogara failed to step down to allow for a credible probe. He also asked the Senate to pass a resolution empowering it to take over the functions of the House until the allegations are addressed. Reason. I'm not going uh, before any ethics uh, committee. I've explained to you the chairman of the ethics committee in himself had made uh, a lot of public uh, uh, statements. I've quoted him by speech. He made uh, he made, uh, granted an interview to Premium Times where he said uh, there is nothing like a pardon, and pardon is not an uh, an offence. And is a person who is going to pass judgment uh, on me. And many members of this committee were part of those putting on mufflers uh, in the chamber on that day, and everybody knows and that is why we are now suggesting that okay that is fine if he refuses to step down the senate should also choose between nigeria and dogara if they choose nigeria then they should pass a resolution rely on the doctrine of necessity and continue exercising the powers of the national assembly until such a time that this investigation will be uh, uh, this matter will be will be resolved Watching news across Nigeria, coming up the health sector and what Yobe State is doing to check a polio outbreak. Don't go away.